Hi, hello and good morning everyone. Newborn Investor here and welcome back to another live day trading video. Hopefully the market gives us some great opportunities today as we're all here to make some money. My intention behind these videos is to capture all my trades live with 100% transparency so that you get a sense of what it takes to be a day trader. Also, it takes a lot for me to record these videos while I trade live. So if you appreciate the effort and the content, all I ask from you is to hit the like and subscribe button. It means a lot. That being said, Let's get straight into today's action. SPY and Triple Q are gapping up today and currently they're trading near the pre-market highs. It gives me a bullish sentiment. I'll wait for market open to see whether SPY and Triple Q could break the pre-market highs and continue higher. So going into market open, I'll be watching Nvidia, Tesla and Amazon. I'll be bullish on these stocks if they could break the pre-market high and continue higher. And I'll be bearish if the stocks break the pre-market lows and go lower. We do have around 3 minutes to market open. So I'll go ahead and pause for now and I'll talk to you guys at market open. Market is open. Triple Q falling off the cliff. Tesla red on the day. But I like to see Tesla go below 925, 926 area. Yep, this is a strong level of resistance. Now I'd like to see Tesla go below 918, 920 area. I'll wait. I don't like this lower wick. Tesla trying to make a red to green move. So I'll wait. Tesla bounced off the 921 area again. And these lower wicks suggest strength. So I want to see a strong red candle before I plan for a put position. So right now, no setups and no trades. I don't want to take this green candle because I've not got confirmation yet. Unless it breaks the current low of 921.24, I'll not be interested in a put position. Looks good now. It's bouncing off this level that I've marked. I'd like this candle to close without any wicks. That would be my ideal setup. Moving to 850 strike price. I like it now. I like it very much. Now I'll be looking to add around 919, maybe 923, 917. That's the plan. I like this candle to close without a bigger lower wick. 580 maybe. Placing an order at 580 for now. Only two minutes into this candle, so that's why I'm not taking this level. It just made a new low. Maybe I'll cancel this and move it to 610. 610 I'm placing. Yep, I'm in. 530. Placing an order at 530. Got six of them. I wish I got my 20 contracts. Giving it some time. I'll take some out. 640. Yep. Now just holding 10. 995. Now holding 7. Sitting some. Now just holding 4. Sitting at 630. Now just holding two, I'll keep it. Six fifty-five. Now just holding one. Mark seven hundred and sixty dollars to start the month. I'll take it. Now watching Tesla for a second trade. Now let's take a look at my first trade on Tesla. My first ad was around six ten, and my second ad got filled partially. It was around 5.30, I just got six contracts. It would have been great if I got my full ad, but it is what it is. So that meant I'm only in 16 contracts. So I think my average was around 5.80. My first exit for six contracts was at 6.40, then three at 5.95. I think that was a bad exit. Then at 6.15, 6.39, 655 and 640. Happy with how I traded it? 
Tesla just made new lows. I'll be aggressive now. Waiting for one push the upside. I think I may get an entry. I'll start with three contracts because the premiums are pricey. My first ad would be around the 912 area. 2130. Three contracts. I'll start my position at 2130. Got one. Yep, I'm in. My next ad would be over the EMA around 919 area. I think I'll sell two. Lift to 55. And now just holding one. Selling. So on my last trade, I got in three contracts, 21.30. I got two out at 22.75. That is more than a dollar per contract profit. Then I actually got the last contract at 22.30. So I think I made over $300 on that trade, which puts me up over $1,100 on the day. I'll take it. Now I'll keep watching for a third trade. Getting at 1560, three contracts. I'm in. I'll be quick to get out. Selling at 1595. Yep. Mount. That was a risky trade. I mitigated the risk by going with just three contracts. It's strong, and I think I'll leave Tesla for now. Last trade, my idea was for a quick scalp. It was not my A plus setup. I got in. Got out very quickly, got in at 1560 and got out at 1595. I was not looking to scale in and scale out. And right now, I think Tesla has reversed and I don't want to short a stock when it's strong. So I think I'll call it today, less than one hour of trading, making $1,250. No reasons to complain. So I'll wrap up my trading and as I always say, my goal here is not to hit home runs, but to make consistent basis and live another day to trade. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Until then, stay safe and thanks for watching. Bye.